Hey Tony, I have a question regarding teammates at feed. I'm Emerald Tzu and I feel like there is nothing I can do when two to three of my teammates have 10 plus deaths by the end of the game. I also play Jinx, have between 8 to 10 CS a minute each game, positive stats and try to die as little as I can. Hate to blame my teammates, but I really don't see what I'm supposed to do besides farming the lane that's available, hoping that my teammates will come back somehow. What should I do? What should my game plan be? Because I feel really stuck. I hope you will reply. Thanks for the videos. So this is one uh, question that was in all my comments and I said uh, I will reply with a video because there's a little bit to talk about here. Um, you all know, you know these moments where you are just doing your best, right? And allies die, you can win no matter what, right? So in the, in the background right now, we are going to have a game that's super similar. Allies die uh, a lot, very just all game, no stop. And um, I'll show you the things I did, you know, things I can actually do even if teammates die. So uh, first of all, why that Fuji is, is playing, um, let's talk about um, how to adapt like the right mindset to, to know what to do. So what I mean by that is uh, the way I see teammates is like uh, the way I see dogs. And you're going to be like, what? Totally toxic? Calling his teammates dogs? Um, there's more to that than it seems. Uh, so let's say your pet dog makes a mistake, right? Your ally makes a mistake. Um, what should you do? Should you um, beat the dog up? Um, should you, I don't know, try to tell him it's not good? Um, if if you do that, I don't think it's going to work, right? They're a dog. Uh, if you talk to them, they, they have no idea what they're talking about. Uh, if you beat them, it's just going to make them even uh, more angry. They're going to make more mistakes and so on. Who knows, right? So um, what should you do? Well, first of all, um, when a dog makes a mistake, you should not be angry. Uh, why is that? Well, dogs don't know what they're doing. Same with teammates. If a teammate makes a mistake, it means they don't know what they're doing. You know what you're doing, so you should not get mad because remember, we are all human, we all make mistakes. And if you are a better player than your teammates, as you're probably saying, right? Most people say I shouldn't be in this vision, I'm a better, I'm a better player, right? So prove it. Teammates make mistakes, okay? We don't flame, we don't spam ping, we don't do any of that stuff, we don't troll them. We say, okay, no problem. We look for something better to do, something we can do, and we don't join a 4v5 because our allies our, our, our died, basically, right? So you try to look for other opportunities. Uh, in this case, for example, right, um, an ally dies and he's try to do Baron, guess what? Uh, we can go me take turrets. Great, right? Uh, our enemies are fighting somewhere topside, right? Uh, we go bot, we take a turret. Cool, right? He's like... Because you're on an ADC, it doesn't mean you can do the most powerful strategy in the game, which is trying to split the enemies apart, trying to split them so you can actually go push another lane, right? Uh, split pushing is OP, it doesn't matter if you're ADC, it doesn't mean you can't split push, right? So you can look for a place like that, or, um, you know. Sometimes, yeah, you feel like you're stuck under turret, you have to farm every wave, which is fine. An ADC you scale, or, uh, you know, if an ally dies, it's a 4v5, there's no objectives up, all lanes are push, it's like not much you can do, you can wait. Right? Sometimes staying AFK is the right answer, got to understand that. And what helped me understand this more is the mindset, which is all I can do is all I can do. I, I can do more than what I can do. It's impossible, I'm human. My champion has its limits, but you know, if a teammate, if a teammate gets caught and we're 4v5, um, I'm not going to contest Baron. Yeah, I'm gonna go mid, I'm gonna push. Uh, if an enemy comes mid, or like if two enemies come mid to stop me, because I'm fed, for example, I wall my lane, and if two enemies come stop me, suddenly it's 3v3 at Baron, right? Even if you die, maybe team contest Baron, right? Who knows? It's something you can do. So, when it's really bad and teammates die a lot, and you are fed, you won your lane, right? You just need to think outside the box. Um, you can't carry alone. Um, it's really hard to take outnumbered fights, 
right? You it, it's just hard, especially as it is. You can't really do that. So you try to look for something else always. Be a turret, be stealing enemy red buff, be I don't know, who knows? Just be creative, just uh, maybe catching enemies after half of them recall and half of them stay after a baron, right? Just try to be smart and do something else. But um, worst thing you can do is join those fights. You don't want to join those fights, those 45s. You're just going to lose and so we'll be good. Yeah, it's not going to be good. Okay, it's not going to be good. So remember, uh, mental, mental diff, if, if your mental is better, you treat your teammate as dogs, uh, you know, they make mistakes, you, you don't know what they're doing, right? And also remember the fact that while climbing, there's ups and downs. Uh, climbing is not linear. You're going to have win streaks, loss streaks. And what matters is that overall, you know, you just win over time more than you lose. All you need is a 51% rate to climb, really, let's be honest, because right now MMR is pretty much fixed. Uh, except Emerald, I guess. I think Emerald is just busted still with Emerald. I don't know what Riot is doing with Emerald deal, but um, hopefully it's like plus 20, minus 20, or like plus 25, minus 25 for you. Hopefully around that. And if that's true, um, you just get 51% win rate and uh, you climb. Yeah, that's that's just how it is. It's, you know, it's, it's basic math, right? You just win. But also remember that I wish I had my to win in league, uh, you need to play a lot of games. To climb, you need to play a lot of games. If you play 100 games, 100 games is not really enough uh, to claim enough. And if you're really committed to league and you want to improve, you want to go crazy, climb, reach high elo, uh, you don't have time for other games. You need to play league. You can't really play other games all the time. Or at least, you know, you just got to play league four hours a day or like, let's say your um, game time per day is four hours if you, if you can play video games four hours a day not more those four hours need to be spent in league you can play two hours of league and two hours of minecraft and expect that you're going to become challenging league it's not gonna work it doesn't work right? so you need to expect that you need to play a lot you need to think a lot more when you play the game uh, try to find the solutions to these crazy problems and remember that sometimes yeah you can't win the games sometimes you don't win games you can't some games it doesn't matter you can be 100 and 0 your four team is going fk you're not winning that game <laughs> right it happens it is what it is no problem it's just save mental for next game don't flame don't ping your teammates try to do something else uh if it doesn't work out it's fine we try next game you know and Try to improve, try to learn something from these bad games anyway, because at the end of the day, this is what matters most, right? Having a better mental, staying calm, and playing to improve. You know, LP will eventually come to you, it's fine, right? Enjoy the game, try to improve. Only worry about yourself, because worrying about your teammates will not do you any good. You can't control them, really, unless, you know... You ping because you recognize it's a 5 versus 4, then you go in, then you ping, and then teammates follow, and then you win the fight, right? It's good. Or you make a great baron call, okay? But what I would say is that in these kind of hard games, don't waste all your energy mental on them. Do what you can, don't do more, and focus your energy on the other games that actually matter, right? A lot of league games are not really decided by you. It feels annoying. But you'd be surprised how, you know, you know, there's like challenger smurf players going in Emerald and they have like 90% win rate or something crazy like that, right? It's insane. Uh, which means actually most games are in your control, right? There are some exceptions for sure. And I'm not saying you should play like a challenger player if you're Emerald, for sure not. If you're Emerald, you should try to play like a diamond player because that's how you improve little by little, day by day. You don't just become challenged overnight. It's not gonna happen, right? And just have patience. Takes a lot of games, again. I mentioned it takes a lot of games. A lot of games are not gonna have impact, but you need to focus all your energy into the games that have impact. And don't lose hope. Be patient. Worry about yourself. Uh, turn the in-game chat off. I turned the in-game chat off. Helped me a lot. Honestly, it's really good. I recommend it. And Go crazy, go grind every day. It's a grind. If you want to improve, you better put the effort in, into it. Because League is not like a normal game. League takes time, League takes mental, it takes 
mental capacity, you can't just turn your brain off and play and expect to climb. It's not gonna happen. Right? If you're doing that, why are you complaining about teammates? You're actually not thinking about anything. You need to just actively think. Look at the map, gather information, make a decision non-stop every every second of league. It's just stressful. That's how league is, right? <laughs> it's a game you love. Okay. I hope that answered your question. And if any of you guys have any other questions, um, you know, maybe I'll make another video about it. Who knows? So yeah, thanks for watching everyone. See ya, take care. These are the worst games to lose, they feel so bad, but you know, go next, it's fine. Because when you look at history, right, I'm happy, right, it's fine, happy, 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 you know, a bit sad, but happy, 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 right, no problem, it's good, just chill.